Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. I'm so sorry about the awful audio you need to endure during this video. Normally I shoot my videos with my DSLR. The lens was jammed, so I used a cheap action camera. Turns out that the audio quality on that camera is quite terrible. Nonetheless, here's the video. This is a Nikon DX. 18 to 55 millimeter ED lens. It's the standard lens that ships with the entry level Nikon DSLR cameras. I have a D5200 and this lens is jammed. So the first thing we're going to take off is the bayonet mount. So you'll see two sizes of screws on the bayonet. There's going to be the smaller ones here, which there are three around, and then there's going to be ones that are a little bit larger here. We're going to go for the smaller ones, and that will help us take the bayonet ring off. Now we've got the bayonet ring off. Now we're going to take this piece off. The screws are a little bit bigger. That's where the electrical connectors are for the lens. Be careful not to damage the ribbon. So as you see here, I've just move that down. The ribbon is still attached. Now we're going to take these three screws out. The nice thing with this part is that at the very least all the screws are the same size. We we'll need to be careful here as there is an electrical wire here. You want to be very careful that you don't sever that. So I'm going to use my screwdriver and I'm going to take this brass piece off here so I can take that wire off. Now it is spring loaded so be careful. That is where the little ball bearing sits in there. Now I'm going to take these metal rings out. Pay attention to the foil ring being on the inside. And for the placement of them, there is one here that's got two dots and the two holes in it, and that's to line up with the pin there. Now as you look into the lens, there's these two, these these two brackets with the four screws on it. I'm going to take that off and I believe then part of the lens assembly should come apart. So now that I'm in here it appears that my lens assembly is somehow stuck. I don't know if it moved in here crooked so I have to figure a way to get it out without damaging it. So what I used was a pair of needle nose wrapped in a lens glass, a uh, lens case. Now I've got my lens just fell out. This top piece here um, can seat in three different locations. As so. So I'm going to go on the assumption that the way it moves in this notch here, that's where it goes. I'm going to note that over here I've got some plastic wear. That could actually be why I'm having a problem right there. So I'm going to see if I can clean that up a little bit. I'm now going to use a microfiber lens cleaning cloth and very gently. I'm going to go in here and just Make sure that there's no dirt in here because very, very small grains of dirt can make this lens stop working properly. Now 
once again, I in no way pretend to be, advocate as, or suggest that I'm an expert at this. I'm going to use my cleaning cloth. I'm going to go around here. Really nice. And these are all assembled in clean rooms, right, that are dust controlled and people wearing masks. So it's going to be obvious that I'm not going to be able to see what it is. So at this point cleaning of the video, the I'm cleaning the lens, cleaning the inside of the body of the lens, and trying to reinsert it, seeing if it frees up. But it didn't work. There's about 15 minutes of video I've cut out. So I don't know if this will work. And I really don't know what the consequences are of doing this yet. So, um, But what I did do is I got some of my dry graphite lube here. I sprayed it into a paper towel, then I rubbed some onto these sliders and onto this piece right here. So, um, once again, I am not a lens repair guy. Okay, so it took some trial and error. What I did is I uh, put some graphite spray on all these on these sliders as well as on there and on the lens itself, and now I put it back in and it appears to work. So now I get to reassemble it. Now we're going to replace these rings, keeping in the order consistent. Remember, the brass-colored one is the one that is closest to the lens, as you see here. There are uh, very hard to do with one hand, but they have the little plastic tabs here that they go into like that, and then here as well. Now we can put this back on, so this slides in like this. Very carefully get it in the right spot. And as you remember here is that spring loaded and that goes in here. So there you go. And we're gonna slide this back down like this. Now all these screws are mounted with plastic mount holes. So if you haven't watched my video on how to not to break those plastic things, do that before you reassemble this thing. So now you go back like this, put that piece back up, we're going to put that on, we're going to put these three screws in, we're going to put that on, and then we're going to put the bayonet back on. So now I've got this back on, and I'm just going to put the bayonet back on, and then we're going to be as good as done, then we can test it out. So I've put my lens on, I can zoom in out. And uh, my autofocus is working. So now my lens is fixed. I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.